Hello ladies and gentlemen, James Whitworth here and today I'm going to show you how you can free up some disk space. Have you ever found that after a while of using your computer it just clogs up and your storage is at a premium? As you can see my main Windows installation drive only has 342 megabytes of remaining space so it needs some clearing up. So first of all what I'm going to do, I'm in this PC at the moment, I'm just going to go to right click and click properties. In properties I'm going to disk cleanup and as you can see here's lots of temporary files and files that you can clear so I've got downloaded program files that's nothing. Temporary internet files, error reporting files, DirectX, optimization, recycle bin and temporary files. So all in all that equals 3.2 gigabytes so that definitely saves a lot of space so I'll just click OK. One thing that is important if you've got anything in the recycle bin I would recommend checking that first just before you delete anything. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Yep. So as you can see that's cleared a bit of space but now we've still got a bit more to do because that's only 3.4 gigabytes. The next thing I'm going to do is going to the hard drive that I want to clear some space on. I'm going to search for size gigantic. So that's size colon no space and then gigantic. This should search for any files that are above 128 megabytes. So all the gigantic files have been searched. To rearrange them by size I've just clicked here and as you can see the top three files are Photoshop temporary files. I'll get back to those in a minute. The next two things are files that I've used in video editing and obviously if you've only got one hard drive, say if you've got a laptop or like any computer that only has one hard drive, you won't be able to transfer it unless you've got like a flash drive or an SD card but what I'd recommend is getting a external hard drive or something just to put big files on to keep them off your Windows installation just to keep that nice and tidy. So as you can see I've got these two files here and what I'm going to do or all of these all of these files that I've used in a recent video I'm gonna send those to an external hard drive so another thing if you use cloud storage say for example OneDrive from Microsoft or Google Drive you can always transfer files there obviously so if you need cloud storage, I've linked some of the best services in the description. Some of these free, some of these premium. So those files are now transferred to an external hard drive. So after that, I was saying about the Photoshop temporary files. If I go into Photoshop here, that's because I've got temporary files that I've been using for other videos and photos. That Photoshop keeps a lot of these temporary files until you save and until you close Photoshop. It's better to instead of leaving Photoshop open, close it every so often so you can keep these temporary files down as much as possible. So all you need to do is save your progress and exit Photoshop. The reason why I wouldn't recommend deleting the files without saving your progress is because some of those files might come in useful. If you just delete all the temporary Photoshop files you might find there's some errors or files cannot be found so I'd leave it to Photoshop to organize those temporary files. So now Photoshop is closed. That should eventually um, free up some space. It sometimes takes a little while for it, sometimes you might need to restart your computer before it deletes those files. So the final thing that I'd recommend to do is go back to properties on your hard drive that you want to save space on and then tick this box. Press this drive to save disk space. So click apply changes to drive C subfolders and files. So any files it comes up with and I'll just click ignore because it won't let you compress those. So as I've got lots of files on that solid state drive it might take a little while to go through it all but it should save up a lot of space. So it's gone through all the files and it's compressed it to save disk space and we've actually managed to save 38 gigabytes. It wasn't even a gigabyte to begin with so now we have 38 gigabytes of free storage so that's a really good result actually if you found this video useful don't forget to thumbs up if you want more of this sort of thing don't forget to subscribe as always thanks for watching this is james whitworth signing out